Thanks, Rishi. We have four of the best players and the best known players in the indoor game in the world facing off against each other. Isn't it wonderful? Two fantastic pairs here. All players have been playing well prior to this. No one is struggling with their game, so we expect it to be very Jack Lane, high 25 quality. meters. So what's it going to come down to in the end, Andy? A bit of luck, or will it go to the tie break all the way? I was just hoping you wouldn't ask me that question at the moment, but obviously you have. Um, I'm going to sit on the fence. This is so hard, as you've already called it. The football, all four players are playing well, so how am I going to pick a winner here? I'd, I'd agree, tie break time, anybody could win. Maybe after the first set you could ask me the same question. I might have a different answer. <laughs> well, it's a big crowd here, as expected at Potter's Resort, and I think every one of them would like to see a tie break. Pairs now played with three balls, and yeah. it's now over nine ends, two sets, a three end tie break if required. I would say out of the four players, I think Nicky Brett is probably playing the best, I would say, at the moment. However, it's a final, so you just really can't tell. But, you know, Nicky's performances so far have what been just outstanding. Yes, what you these, got? Uh, the mixed pairs were just yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, well done. Well Having said that, Paul Foster was playing extremely well too in the mixed pairs <laughs> when they met each other. So uh, very little between all four. And of course, you've got Alex Marshall in there. And, and Greg Harlow's already shown us he's playing really well. Well, exactly. I mean, I've had a top win in the singles this morning. So he's going to be full of confidence. But yeah, I'd, I'd agree. You know, we could make a case for everybody here. That's why I'm sitting on the fence at the moment. We'll see how the game develops. And you wouldn't take you long to say you'd be sitting on the fence. <laughs> I knew you would. It's have a very <laughs> strong fence that you sit on almost all the time. I knew you would ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> a reasonable start from Greg and Paul. Paul just needs to run here. I think he's got caught on Greg's ball. Yep. One green, either way. Players walking down together, keep the, the game moving. They won't come up after their first ball. Preferably stay down until after their second ball. There may be occasions where it's so tight, they need to see it. Straight line, Nick. Well played, mate. Great start. Taking him a long time to get his so great. weight. <laughs> One ball. I wouldn't be at all surprised if Alex Marshall plays this. Yeah, this looks inviting. I think the plant's quite good. The outside plant looks good. In the area. Yeah, plant was good. And call that. Wow, look where that Red Bull has finished. Couldn't ask for any better. Perfect. <laughs> the crowd's just realised that that ball is beside the respot. You wouldn't have expected that, but yeah, that's a good result. Forehand is out of commission, so he has to play the backhand. Oh. Slight movement, obviously, from the crowd. Reset himself. Yeah, great road, mate. Run a little. Well, Run a bit more. He flirted with the side, didn't he? 
Yes, he did. Great try, mate. Well, Great try. Well done. Well done. Well done. Drawing the shot unless he falls back. Unlucky. Bit unlucky there. Alex is about, we've got a perfect view of that, about six inches from the edge, so no margin for error there. Yeah, it's our comedy position, he's right behind the rink. And there, mate, need a foot. Edged over slightly to the backhand side. As you can see, this ball a few inches away from the side ditch. Goes into the ditch. Well, that's the end of that. Ball's taken away. Great line again, Nick. Slightly different line from Nicky. Come on, roll the ball further. Yeah, he needs to hurry. Roll the ball further. Looks a roll the ball low. further. Good try, mate. Good try. Gonna oh, drop back, maybe. but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Yeah, down, mate. Oh, yes, down, yes. One Draw green. Shot. Wow. One green. That wee flop back was enough. Yes, it was. Alex coming up to have a look. I think Alex will be attacking this. Lots of chances. Yes, you can see that the two players are talking to each other, but they're not mic'd up. Uh, the English pair are. And uh, Alex and Paul didn't want the microphone, so they were able to chat quietly. That doesn't really suit everyone to have mics on. I think this will be a backhand runner here. I think they try to remove the green ball or trail the jack. Going strong. It's holding out. Wow, it seemed to take a little kick, yes. didn't it? Yeah, I think Alex One suggested ball. that as well. He felt as though One it worked shot. out. Bretton Harlow. It definitely took a little kick out. It looked good. Yes, it did. And then it seemed to move. Again, we've got a very good view, Andy. Yes, we have, yeah. Yeah, and I think Alex was bemused by that as well. He thought it was good. Well, hold on, Brett. Take the opening end. I was watching on the thing and it was all... Definitely see it. Not much, but just enough. Again, it's just uh, all part of the portable rink, Andy. At certain Jack weights. Twenty-five and a half meters. Yes, it does. Yeah, it just, it's got a tendency just to hold out with weight. Right back now. Yeah, well done. Good starter. Well played. Greg Harlow played so well in the short jack length this morning. 24, 25 metres and I think he will stick fairly short. Yes, I would think both pairs will probably favour the shorter length. I mean, Alex and Paul, they've, they've probably favoured this length as well. Interesting to see the tactics as the game develops. Somebody might have to go longer. Yeah, right back, Brown. One, that'll keep. Foster's delivery so different to Greg in many ways. He comes off the mat very quickly. And usually plays off the high side of the mat all the time. Which allows Paul to bend that bit more. Good delivery is Greg. Very compact. Good backswing, good follow through. Just to run with this one. I'm back. To the centre now. To the centre. Uh, you can't ask for much better than that, can you? Yes, Drop back and then in a receiving position as well. Well, Alex has given Paul the choice. It's a draw it or you could hit it. So Paul sticking to his strength. That's the draw.
Well, even if he makes it a little bit bigger, would be good. He's close to drawing the shot here. Oh, the what shot. a shot. Oh, dear me. What a goal. Fuzzy at his best. One red. Yeah, obviously, false final delivery. Temptation was to run at that. Plays the perfect draw. Well, when you've got that sort of precision in front of you, both skips must be extremely happy. He's urging this ball on. I don't think he's got quite enough. He's not far away. Oh, 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 what an effort. No touch on the green one, and he was there. He had the jack all the way. Oh, this was close, wasn't it? Oh. Alex, what are you going to do? <laughs> Probably going to have to follow that up. I think so. I like that, another one near the spot. The jack's still going past Nicky's ball, yeah? Yes. He's going for position then. Yeah, right, covered. It's just not worth it, Andy. No. You're covering the respot. That might come into play as the end progresses here. I think Nicky will just be playing the draw again. Same ball, mate. Exactly the same. As Greg has indicated, exactly the same. Gently down. Gently to drop. Maybe just a bit heavier Gently this time, drop. is he? Another great try, mate. Great try. Alex again going for cover, leaving the head alone. And again, mate. Right road. Great effort, this, Nick. Great effort, this. Will he bend? Play, buddy. Well played. Well played. Well drop. played. Oh yes. Oh, what a ball! I think he's still red. I think he's still red. According to Greg, it was red. I think it's red. What a try! Yeah. What a shot that was! You know, if that's still red. You know where you're going, don't you, Andy? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think this will be what the Alex is not playing his last ball here with Nicky's final you delivery. See that just bounced off the green ball as the <laughs> ball dropped. Yeah, exactly. We just went. I think Greg knew even at that point. Oh, we might get the umpire out. You never know. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> One, One shot, Foster and Marshall. Well, we expected the best, and that's what we're getting. Let's go. 1 1 after two ends. Expected that. Just Four quality players, it's always going to be a good game. Well, no, that's an interesting one. Should pairs be allowed to change formation or pairs? Well, they are, actually. After the first set and after the second, you can swap around lead and skip if you so desire. In fact, one of the Australian pairs uh, earlier in the tournament, meters. one of the qualifiers came through and they switched over in the first two sets, in the middle break, every single match. So it almost allowed. worked for them as well, didn't it? It, very, it, worked, yeah, it, it did. did. Yeah. It was, uh, they, they played extremely well. They really did. Had a good run. Very keen to come back again. I don't think you'll see either of these pairs changing over, though. No, I don't think so. Can't recall many of the UK players swapping around. I'm sure it probably has happened, but I can't recall seeing that. It's that rare. It's only yes. if you find that maybe one of the players is struggling, especially yeah. the skip struggling to play certain things, they swap around. Yes. 
but it is. It's, that's a rare occurrence. Paul didn't like that one. Right back now. Yep, correction's been made. Well played. Well played. Same again, there's danger oh, either way, because if you get idea. to it and sit same back, we'll be one Greg. down anyway. So just play the same you did. He pulls an attempt, moves the jack, but falls away. Right back now. Right back. Yeah, that'll keep. One green. Well, Greg and Nicky lie here, but I think the play is actually with Alex and Paul, really, isn't it? You know, they've got a better head to play to than, than Nicky. The better options, and yes. they've certainly got uh, more margin of error in terms of the weight that they use. Or well, you can play an arriving draw at this for front yeah. ball on the jack or green ball out of the head. Although that on the portable ring is a very difficult shot in yes, itself. Yes, it is, yeah, but the, the, you know, they could be more positive, I think. Nicky's well, almost honest. defending this end. Mm, that's beautiful weight for the job. <coughs> Once or twice, Nicky's got caught out by slight movement. Yeah, but he's normally very good about resetting himself. Yes. Though. He's, he's very disciplined. Could understand him being shot, and this might give Alex problems. Yeah, he's going to have to change his hand. What is that last one shot? No. Uh, he's asking that. Two and a half feet. Can he get round if it's that short? Well, two and a half feet, he just knock it back with a, an extra pound or two, so move on to the forehand and uh, he's obviously getting the same movement somewhere in the crowd that uh, well, that can happen it's a big big audience out there yeah, it's very difficult to, to stay still for two or three hours yeah, Alex thinks he's a bit heavy <laughs> not too bad yeah, not but far away uh, yes, mate. Off that. Yeah, very little Nick. Oh, look at this, he doesn't want to disturb the jack off the red oh, one. He's going to give this away. He is. That's why I think he must have been better staying away. Uh, one red. You know, I think the problem there, Andy, is Hello, if there's only one more ball to come from your opposition, yeah. you do not give the shot away. No, exactly, yeah. You know, I can understand his rationale for wanting to get into it, but... The opposition still has to get it. Yes, exactly. Well, Alex only had one ball left. Again, rolls are reversed. There's Diane, Alex's wife. Yes, Diane arrived in today. Swinging, mate. Oh, this is a deliberate blocker, isn't it? Yes. Not bad. Might be a guide, in a way. Might be a guide for a heavier bow now. 
Well, he's forcing Nick into playing more weight than yes. he probably wants to play. Correct. And there we could see the gap between the, the red ball and the top there. Yeah. That's the target. <coughs> yeah, if he can get it absolutely perfect, Andy, just a little touch into, into the front ball, and it would work perfectly to move the jack. So it catches the red ball line. There's a good chance of scoring. I think he's diving. He's, uh, he's missed his line. Hey, mate. One shot, Foster and Marshall. Set score 2 1 after three ends. Singles all around. 2 1 to Foster and Marshall. Jack length 25 metres. Once again, same length Jack. Not much variation at the moment. Well, that's the thing, Andy. Both these pairs like the short jack length. Yes, they do. Uh, that, that's one. I'll be interested to see which one does eventually change because if someone starts to dominate, they'll change. played against each other once right before. Uh, yeah, well done, well done. In pairs, and it was in 2014 when Brett and Harlow won in the final. Paul Foss and Alex Marshall won this title three times. Figures for matches won and lost, quite interesting. Alex Marshall, Paul Foster played 20, sorry, 32 matches in the pairs, won 21, whereas uh, Nicky and Greg played half that amount, 16, and Hang around nine. Now. Hang around. Foster and Marshall, slightly more successful. And I presume 32 games in the World Bowls Tour and how many, many more in Commonwealth Games, World Championships outside as mm, well. So Absolutely. And gold medals galore. Silver, of course, last year at the Gold Coast in the pairs. That's a great ball here. A great ball here. Oh, that's a beautiful. Okay. Uh, it's Paul Foster on his best. Uh, I expect Greg Take to come hand. into this now. Try to open it up a bit. Yeah. Always prefer. It looks a backhand runner, but Greg prefers the forehand, and this not a big target. No, but fairly standard in terms of uh, Greg playing the forehand. He's in the area. Hurry. Just outside the line. He just always looked a little bit. But he has taken that one away, which is actually quite useful. Yes. There we go. He was on the target but just misses catches the ball goes away yeah but if he had hit a face on it would Free have red. done a lot of damage yeah. and uh, he was definitely in the area well, well, he's got to go deep surely I think so I think I'll be covering the spot here because Nicky will definitely be attacking this again Nicky's a bit like Greg likes the forehand runner rarely will Nicky play the backhand runner what Alex is doing, covering the spot, expecting Nicky to hit this one. Fairly predictable that he was going to go back there. Close. How's your luck, Nicky? Bend. 
No. Blame oh, well, that's good. Very good result. Very good result. Played it well. Played it with a lot less weight. Played the harder shot, Andy. Yes, yes. Paul asking Alan, who's lying? Yeah, three yeah. Slightly favour us, mate. Well, the guys may not be using microphones. We can still hear them, of course, when they're up and down like that, so it's not a big problem. No, I don't think it is. No. There's still that communication. Interesting choice now for Nicky. Draw it in the backhand or run on the four. Do you want to come and have a look? No, it doesn't look very good. No, it doesn't for me. <laughs> ask permission. Normally you're not allowed to come after your first goal, but Nick has asked permission from the umpire. Yeah, that's funny that Greg sort of put a cross there and said, can he come down? And yes. Nick said, you know, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't, but he's still only second. No, his second shot in there. Exactly, not a disaster. He'd be unlucky to take his own ball out. I think you need to see it. Yeah, yeah. Could play off the last red one, drop in. You know, he's, got, uh, he's got two balls left, so... Not sure exactly what they've decided. Forehand, must be a runner. Maybe it's a runner again. It's very much a timing shot, this one. This needs to hold up. Ball on the jack would be good. Well, second best, Run. getting the ball out. Yes. Still shot down. It's always just under the head. Not quite as hard. Fine. Fine. Harder one now the other way, probably. It's not harder, it's a harder shot. I think Paul has asked Alex to be one yard past the head here. Mm. Just split the green balls. Yeah, so just trying to get that position in case the jack does move. Well, he's not even bothering because there's no way that that ball was attempting to cover. He's trying to draw that. <laughs> I think he's got it. Yep. Yeah. But there's, there's no way Andy that Alex Marshall would be that far away from a cover ball, no. so he oh, must no. have decided yeah. oh, to yes. draw it. Yeah. Two reds. Yep. Yeah. I think they were just waiting on the bounce. Where's it going to go? <laughs> it goes to the red one. Paul delighted with that. Mm. Well, same shot for Nicky, forehand runner. Yeah. Best two balls at the back are both red. Yes, it's... Well, he's two down. He'll probably feel was by hitting the target, he can't be worse than two, and I think he's hit the target. Play, mate. I like you. So definitely at least one down. Nice two by the looks of it. Three. And three, in fact. Well, there must be another three. one loitering around it. There it is. It's the other side. We couldn't three see shots. it. Foster and Marshall. We can now. Cost him an extra shot. Yes, it did. It was a good strike. So that score five one up the four cover. No guarantee, of course, of the jack going back. The way that was sitting, it could have juggled about inside the head. Um, costly in the end. Jack length, 24 metres.
good stuff from both players. Yes. Yeah, both time, up you hit this length, David. Like I think that's yeah. the key, really. Really top class stuff. There was an expectation that a match like this is very, very tasty, but it doesn't always live up to that expectation. This one is yeah, quality bowling from from end one. Close here, Greg. Hurry now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That's why Nick Brett was saying hurry because he wanted Greg to get behind the jack. And we can see that, uh, oh, well, Gavin had a, I've heard from Gavin before. Why do the refs spray? Animals? Well, <laughs> it's a spray chalk that goes onto the bowl and that indicates it's touched the jack. Let the boys talk. Any touch on the jack's really good. I'll just come past it. There we go. It's got the communication out of the way. And um, if they touch your bowl, it goes into the ditch, it stays live. And uh, if a bowl goes in the ditch without touching the jack, it's removed and takes no further part in the end. You may get a chance to see it now. There you go. Beautiful shot by Paul Fawcett, and there's a little spray chop. One down, bench and a half off. Just get to this and see it. You'll be close. As if by magic. Yes, they must have knew there was a toucher coming up. Oh, Paul has tucked that around, so making it harder here for Greg and Nicky. Right back. Right back. Calling it the band. <laughs> Not quite, but he's actually left in a good place. That's a shoulder he can roll off. Okay. Too red. Spray chalk's been a useful development that's uh, Especially if a ball's sitting at an angle where you don't have to use the old standard stick of chalk. But there is certain disadvantages to it, and that is it marks the rink. I think it, it marks the rink when it's an oiled-based uh, material. However, the, the water-based has become a good addition, shall we say, David. Yeah. I mean, a big help. Big help the water-based. tends to rub off the carpet. And if we do see marks on the green, it's often that because the, the spray has got onto the green. Multiple colours, of course. Yes, there are. Yeah, there are pink ones, obviously, because of coloured bowls now. <coughs> or just personal choice. Yes, yes. Some people like the, the pink as opposed to... Different colours. Yes. Yeah, good try, Nick. Difficult head, this for Nicky, again. It's just... If it's not sitting ideal, it's is it? It's not, yeah. I mean, it's shot down, and it's very difficult to get the shot. <coughs> of a target so it's just the draw good line mate got that one away like an gently absolute now. sweetie yeah gently it's now. Really good well greg's calling gently. it as good mate but looks <coughs> high. lucky yeah, just struggle to get back at the end maybe a foot over the weight yeah too red Seven one would be a well, it's a big comeback against yes, these two guys. Yes it is. That's what I'm saying. I think tactically, Nicky now I've got to score and possibly change this. Nicky I think they'll be looking, he's got one ball to play and difficult to score. Ball up, don't think he's running, however, that's not made it any easier for Nicky. Yep. Well, not on the running ball, he can still draw it on the backhand or indeed on the forehand. It's, it's available both sides, but he's had a go on the backhand a couple of times, so it's probably worth trying again. I think so. Looks like backhand draw, just play the perfect ball.
Punching the ball up. Don't think he's got enough. Right, mate. Very close to second. Great try. He falls back. And that's very good here. On part, please. Yeah, it's a close one. Well, I think if they get second, yeah. it's, quite, oh, it's almost what they were hoping yes, for. Yes, I think that's just all we can get. Very, very difficult to draw the shot, Andy, but uh, the margins in this game have been so, one so One red, tight. measure for two. Slightly favoured green. There's Diane. She's never missed. Never ever seen Diane without really a smile on her face. <laughs> She's just a happy person. Great character. Lovely lady. Two shots, Foster and Marshall. Two shots, it was. Why is that? Okay, that's Greg's misses. Well, 7 1, that's a good lead. So that's score 7 1 after five ends. Well, you can see the jack lengths, both jack players length focusing meters. still on that shortest jack length. The minimum, of course, is 23, but you're going to 24, 25, even 25 and a half. My goodness me, that's. Uh, not big margins there. I just wonder if a combination of Harlow and Brett get to Jack, will they go long? I think they probably need to. I would agree. I would agree. They have got to go long. It's not probably what Greg would want, but Paul is probably just edging the lead spot here. And that's key in a pairs game. Not far. Just letting Alex talk there. Um, it's also a benefit when it comes to the singles because all oh, that competitive match play out there drawing to the jack. Yes, I mean, uh, as we talked about, Greg played really well this morning. But uh, different game, as he's mentioned to, to Rishi in his uh, interview. Different game, just leading in a two and four three ball pairs. Down you go now. Yeah, well done, well so done. Good second. That's key. Can't get the shot, get a good second. Start building from that. Runner from Greg. Close. Do a bit. Do a bit. Good well strike. Done. Good well strike. <laughs> Interesting, Nick, you're saying do a bit. That was, you know, do a bit of bending. Yes. <laughs> so, just for everyone that was hearing that, just do a bit of a bend. Like he used on the high side. Sorry, well done. Well done. Oh, this, the jack's way out the side, as we can see. Not easy to pick a line for this. Uh, match up a wee bit, still fairly short. It's now with the jack moving. Hasn't moved that much, still probably about a 25, 26 metres. You're still able to play the narrow side. Forehand, playing inside as opposed to going outside to come in. Well, he's not bad. He's good. Very well. <laughs> playing across the line, not easy to judge. Yeah, difficult one that. 
Alex will keep you still in the back, Andy. He was only 18 inches through. Looks to be under. Still the one, mate. Still the one. Bit of a wry smile two there greens. with Greg simply because he knows that those two balls can disappear. They've, the ideal position is to make a gap between the two balls, but with them being that adjacent, he might be tempted with this. I think he will. I think this will be a backhand runner. Reasonably wide target. And second option if he gets a jack absolutely clean, stays with it. Nicky needs a, to add another here, and then we'll see if there's a change of jack length. Yes, I think he, he really needs to add this one. He's played two good openers. Good chance of adding a third here. Yeah, the line should be good right enough. Good. Three really good goals. Scoring the two of them. Yes, I agree. Interested to see where the English pair go now. Two shots, Brett and Harlow. So it scores 7 3 after six ends. I would suggest longer. Yeah, Greg, <clears throat> Greg throwing this. Definitely a longer length. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Well, it's been lengthened, but not by much. Just an extra yard. An extra metre, I should say. We fall back into that, don't yes, we, Andy? Yes. And up. Yes, it's easier and for up. me to understand and yards. Up. Well done, yards. great job. In fact, that's the way we always talk, don't we? We, we describe the uh, balls and feet and inches. Yes, and when I play with some of the, the younger players and I play with now, they're all <laughs> what is, uh, half a metre, is that there? What? <laughs> <laughs> I say, no, no. Half a yard. Yes, <laughs> yes. Half a yard will do. Right back, right back. Well, uh, decent, couple of feet. It's always the right idea though, if you've got one close to the jack, try and get your next one just behind if you can. Don't be dropping short. Push from there. Not yet, Paul. Ah, we're not looking for much, start. No damage done. Well, Nicky was always trying yeah. to push it out. More importantly is that Greg is alive. Gives Nicky a chance here. Right? Well, Paul turned around there. I don't know if there was a disturbance behind him. No, I don't think so. I think he just pushed it heavy. Um, 
Yeah, either way, mate. It's all he, fine. He all knew right. it was just heavy out of the hand, that was all. One green. Can happen. Oh, an interesting uh, group of players there. I'm not going to go through all their names, but uh, we do know them all. Michael Stepney on the left, of course, who's uh, due to see. Michael yeah. Stepney in amongst four English players. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He feels safe enough. He's from yeah. Elgin. <laughs> yes. Big finish, Nick. Big finish. Good ball, mate. Well done. Well played. And he knows being pulled by one or two people at the that was not from Elgin. He's from the village outside Elgin, but that's where he plays and that's where he does most of his work. So, out of Elgin. You know the name of the village? I do, but I, I don't pronounce <laughs> it right, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> that's all. I really don't. Is it best the other way just to try and nip it in? or? Well, it's up to you, mate. If you beat your own, you'll score, or obviously the draw there. Either way. Well, Greg, give Nicky a choice. Great height. Gently now. Line's good. All about weight. Ah, uh, these big shoulders. Oh, not a lot. Oh, the wrong side of the boat. The right idea, though. Yes. Not far away. Just 15 inches through. was he didn't like it. Looks heavy. Easy. There's at this level quite good yeah, judges when the ball leaves the hand. Throw a shot, throw a point. Although it was only about 15 inches, I think Alex knew he was just slightly too heavy. Chance here for Nicky. Touch of the jack could possibly make three. Good crowd in today. It's the look of this. Right, hi, right, buddy. Keep it running. Keep it running, Nick. Great try. Great try. Come for the extra shot, couldn't he? I don't think, I think it's just a one. Sorry. Just any touch in the jack would have been making a three, yes, Andy. And yeah. at this stage, a three would have been absolutely crucial. Yes. So Alex will be playing the forehand here. Mm. Oh. That's the target. Yeah. Something lacking with this one. Pace, I think. Yeah. Nope. Out we come with the measuring equipment. We're leaving the other red ball against the green just in case it's leaning just by a fraction against the red ball, so they leave it there. One shot, Bretton Harlow. Francis Fletcher sorted that out. Set so score 7 4 after seven ends.
Jack Lang, 29 metres. 29. This is a bit of a change from Greg. Well, I think it's about time, really. Yes. Yeah, I think that was the, the right tactics. And a good start. Hang around. Yeah, well done. He's back down now. Yeah, good anyway. Well done. Well done. Good reading. Greg and Greg and Nicky have definitely got to score and probably got to score the final Good two job. ends to have a chance in this set. Lose one of the ends, and probably lose the set. Just a little bit. Much, well, just the change of length has had the desired effect. Yes, it has. It's uh, <laughs> loosened Paul Foster up a little bit, and that's exactly what they needed to do. And again, all you got. And again, and again. Can't do Turned his back on it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mate. Yeah, it looks heavy. I think it's that's the first end that Paul Foster has uh, struggled on. Yes. Three green. In the first end, it's been a 29 first meter. Ball, room here for Alex, so Nicky will be still trying to make this head a little bit harder. One on the top of the chart, the baseball here. Bye, mate. Couple of feet. Uh, turn of the jack would have been so much better there. Yes. I think this might just be too much room here for Alex. He's got at least a foot to draw the shot. He's on a good line. Okay, you need to turn that jack because there's a front plant on. Alex decides to have a running ball at it. Uh, Paul might give him that option. Got massive feet. Okay. Much One feet. Come. <laughs> a couple of feet. You've yes. got massive feet. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that was heavy. Uh, still always useful. Yeah. Well, still a draw for Alex. He needs to add 15 inches on his previous delivery. Bit more encouragement for this one, but it's still lacking. Yes. Run. Needs to run. I don't think he has. He's still caught in the back ball. No, yeah. Short ball. Still two or three. Yeah, still draw away, mate. You turn this jack and bury it right in behind everything. That's what both skips have been trying to do is hide the jack. Nightmare to get at. Right, hi. Keep it coming. Needs to hurry. Keep it coming, stick. I think he's better for weight this time. It's number four. <laughs> oh, he's right there, so there he wanted to pick up the jack, but uh, that's the second best option. And there's that front plant being looked at now. Yeah, I agree, David. 
they could probably get it with either of the two short balls, the green or the red. Yeah, the top of the screen, catch either of these balls on the top of the screen, you could... Yeah, exactly. Either ball gives you a result. Yeah, just looking at the way the two guys are, are you know, it's, it, it's sort of identified this one earlier. Yes. You know, what we're looking at, Andy, is trying to really get this ball coming into the head. That's it. Now, if the jack moves, you've got a ball back in this position, which is crucial. If it goes onto the re-spot, well, we're over here on the re-spot, but that again would uh, take shots off. There's always a chance of it going over that direction. There's also the green ball as well, David. Catches the green, green ball onto the plant. That also pushes the jack back. So I think he's got two chances here. It looks to me a forehand runner, I would say. This is all about confidence. Are you confident enough to try to draw this, or do you hit it? To me, percentage-wise, looks a hit. Forehand runner. Result, but I think he's brought it down to two. I think he is down to two, I think. Two, two, two shots. Good strike, four down. Yep. Makes this last end very interesting. Well, he hit it absolutely. Two shots, plus. Harlow and Brett. He caught the ball he was after. Set so score, two, seven, two six after eight ends. 50% result, which is good. Means he goes into the, the last one end, one shot up. Buster and Marshall. And that's what we expected from the sixth end. Jack length, 27 metres. Greg Harlow and Nicky Brett got the chance to cast the jack. They immediately lengthened it. And then again, even further. If you got inside a half of the red, your red would have been shot because it would have bounced off. 27, so slight variation from the previous end. Meters shorter. Yeah, a little bit surprised at that because the they did well on the yeah. 29. 29 was very successful. And again. And Good again. Start, though. Great start. Yeah. Perfect start. Not anything behind. This first ball is good. Yes. Greg would be happy if this was one foot behind the jack. It would be perfect. The idea. Okay, cool. Anything behind is useful. Just flash the shot at jack level. And again, mate. was hoping for a blocker out of that. He knew it wasn't reaching. Yeah, that's not a bad ball, that, I think, in a way. It stops the forehand runner. Forces the opposition to that. Just a draw. Up, yeah. Up, ball, you're close here. 
He's close to picking the jack up. That's a difficult shot, so that's a great oh, yeah. Yeah, That's a lot better ball than people might realise. Yes. Well, he, he was carrying a yard away there and just picks it up perfectly. Oh, that was a difficult shot. Oh, that's changed the head completely now. Yes. Interesting what Nick does here because he's one behind. Yeah, I think one maybe two against. Yeah, I think it'll be a backhand draw to start with. I don't think he wants to lose lose the ball, so I have a backhand draw. He's going to have to run a bit on this length because it's under. he's well under. What are we doing in the last end of the we'll be happy with that. <laughs> Even behind the jack was good. Yes. Yeah, shaking his head. He knew, he knew that was a bad one. He wanted to get him with that one. What's going on? Probably beforehand as well. I don't think he likes the backhand runner. Forehand jack in the ditch. It's high. Got the ball, but that's a toucher. That will stay in the ditch. That's a live ball. Another one in? Yes. Goes out. Alex and Paul would still lie. I can play just up here, but it goes quickly. Problem. I think he's going to have to play us on the backhand. Two, draw. No, you know, good. two right. Yeah. Backhand's the only one that takes a jack away from the red ball think? in the Who ditch. <coughs> Taking their time over this one, I could understand that this is yeah. awkward. I feel as though the maximum they could score here. There's one. I can't see them scoring anymore. Yeah, yeah. I think it has to be back. And the trouble with forehand is, Andy, as you can know, but the only thing is there's a respot on the forehand which brings in the green ball. Yeah. You know, and that's not a bad respot position, that one, because it's uh, just hard enough to get to. It's not sure of the track out there. Was decent for the first I think I'd on. agree with you, David. To me, it looks back hard to, to, to push the jack away from the deep red ball, but he's definitely favouring his forehand. You're not, I'm not going to end up near it unless I get off the ball. Yeah. Obviously, very uncertain right. as to what shot is best. But well, we're just looking at this, Andy, you know, where's the key position? Well, that is where the respot position is, yes. the centre there, and we've got a green ball, which is very adjacent to it, if the jack goes in the ditch. If it goes in the ditch, there's a deep red one, but off the rink, it's not, not bad if it's off the rink. No, he's playing the backhand, so I think he's playing the right shot. It's all on the bounce, that's all. He's got the jack. Oh, he's unlucky. Where's the red one? Very unlucky. Oh, he's on the wrong side of the red ball. Yep. Good strike. And lucky there to see the red ball lie in the shot and the opening set. One shot, first set. Marshall Foster and Marshall. Foster. Good set. Good balls. 
Well, quality stuff from both pairs, as we expected here at Potter's Resort, and a large oh, crowd to enjoy it. The first set goes to the Foster Marshall combination, eight shots to six. And it was an absolutely brilliant set. Quality balls. No rhythm at all on the first one, just lobbed it. Jack length 27 and a half metres. So, Greg Hardo to lead off in the second set. 27 and a half metres. Right. You all right, mate? Be a little bit of disturbance because between the two sets, a lot of people get up and take a break and stuff like that. And it's unfortunate, but it's all part of the game. I think it's understandable, David. You know, the player, you know, been sitting down for an hour, so you would expect some movement. Well, most of them have been there since oh, 20 to or even half past half past one. Yeah. They get an air so one o'clock kickoff, so they've been sitting about for quite a while. Yeah. An hour and a half, anyway. Yes. <coughs> no, some of the players are not too happy, but sometimes you've just got to allow players to, spectators to, to move about a little bit. Right back now. Change it over. Mm. I think it's understandable. Yeah, Quite a true. tense end to the first set, and those have just relaxed a little bit. It'll pick up, I'm sure. The leading, especially on the second end. Yes, but you don't want a cheap <laughs> three or four. Exactly, that's the danger for uh, for Nicky and, and Greg here. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, that's all right. All right. Two red. Okay. Just a four-hand drop. Oh wow, that's an interesting one. Goodness me, that's going to take a while to think that one out. <laughs> Pairs triples and fours. Oh. <laughs> well, the, the the problem is, I suppose, when it comes to pairs, indoor and outdoor, the most successful pairs is actually out there at the moment. Yes, Paul and Alex. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Paul Couldn't and Alex. Argue with that. I mean, no. or obviously David Bryant and Tony Alcock. <laughs> yep. But you uh, could argue against them as yeah, well, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. But just looking at the outdoor success that uh, these right, two people have had, those yes. two players have had, yeah. I think they pass everybody, yeah. in, certainly yes. in the modern game. Oh, I think yes. certainly in the modern game. So. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anybody would be arguing about that. Yeah. Going into triples and fours, well, you're again, how, how do you add to those two players? There's so much choice out there. You could argue that the four that's out there at the moment would be a yes. fantastic yeah. four. Yeah, it would be a good four. Interesting question. Thank you very much for that. That will test I need to us change a, bit. a lot, mate. Make sure you keep sending them into Corky. <laughs> Not to you, thanks, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> but it is that that's you know it's subjective, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes, always it's subjective. Is. Yeah. A lot of talented players about. As you say, they could drop a silly three or a four here unless they're careful. This looks heavy as well. It's just out. You have to cup for a shot. It's just a danger in the start of a second yes, set yes. that this can go wrong. And you know, it's, it's These two pairs are so well matched. You certainly don't want a big counts in there. 
This looks like a shot coming in. Falls back, he'll probably score. How far away is it? He's a good one here, Nicky. I think he'd be even uh, happy just to be one down. On it. Oh, doesn't Again. like it. It's not like it, which means that, that he's uh, looking at a possible two, three, maybe even a four. Yeah, this could be a bad start for Greg and Nicky. I think he's probably got three here. I think. Oh, sent him in. Two, four, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it is. As you said early on, David, mm. a loose end. Could get punished for it. Well, Paul's not sure about the third ball, nor are we with that. No, I'd the agree. Ring's very, very close. No, chance for Alex to certainly add a third. Push it out in the high line. Just let it drift back. I'm sure the guys have all been home waiting for that to come. <laughs> well, we'll leave the jack alone. Okay, good. Certainly number three. Oh, yeah. All the way. Four shots, Foster and Marshall. Given four away there, I thought it was probably quite a good measure, that. First end, 4 0. I know we get a good sighter of it here in the commentary position. We've got the rings and all that to help us, but we're still quite a distance away from the end. Andy, of course, a well known expert when it comes to measures. I think a good reputation. Jacqueline, 25 Langham meters. Glass trophies. Very impressive they are too. And extremely heavy. with it mate just get to the back of it's good <laughs> yeah good good Similar, any touch is good. They're still letting people in. Bring it up. All right, mate. Get that one away, right? I don't think, Greg. Well, that's unusual. Yes, very unusual. Doesn't throw many of these. Mm. Still be looking for that green ball, I would have thought. Judy Potter, just a quick look there. In the usual colourful jacket. Did you find out which colour it was? Yeah. Well, there's a variety of colours in there, but uh, the one you're really interested in is like a cerise colour. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I knew you were working on that. It's up to you, just draw him off. Flashes of Or cerise. quicker. <laughs> I don't mind which one you fancy. Well done. You're a fashion expert. What do you as think, well? I wish. What do you think? Happy with either. I'd go the quicker one. Yeah, asking to be, head to be disturbed. I think he's close. Uh, will he bend? Oh, that's it. Oh, I thought he was taking his own one out. Danger signs here at the moment for the English pair. Danger signs. 
plenty of bowl mate. Yeah. Nine end sets, of course, so a long way to go when you're on the second end, but at the same time, you do want to be in five or six adrift. No, that's what I'm saying. Slightly dangerous signs here. Got to be a bit careful. Hang into this set a little bit. Try to keep it tight. Drops in right in line, it's okay. That's what Paul sort of signaling yes. there, but he's drifted across and that's opened the target. I'll a go bit first one, mate. It's a better target now for Nicky. That's a ball to use if he's slightly off. Oh, he's certainly not tight. It's the bend. Oh, right, great strike. Right. 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 Off the ring, so we're going to the re spot. That was a lovely, lovely shot and a very difficult shot to play. That timing weight allow things to bend in. He played that well. It was not much of a target. He needed to get that one. This is wide. This might go off. Well, that's a rare occurrence, and uh, Alex took a bit of time over the delivery, so looks like there's something that's disturbing him, but it's very rare. It's not as if the jack was on the respot or anything. Or sorry, if the jack was a bit wider, it's mm. on the respot. But uh, I think he's complaining about the possible crowd movement. I think. I mean, I, I must admit, I've thrown one in the side ditch as well. You've got to be so so close that yeah, it's, it's inevitable that you're going to lose one or two balls out there. Yeah, so it's fine margins out there because of the speed of the rink, which is quick and it's very swingy. So you have to go very wide, you know, especially with a strong bias ball. Yes. Nick, he's played it well. Bye, Nick. It's a certain matter of bias ball there. He could hold up. Yeah, very good ball. Two great balls from Nicky Brett here. Uh, Alex, so just to try and even second ball here is not bad. Yep, a hit in the draw. Hmm. I think the players are all talking about possible crowd movement here. Well, that's, that's, it's unfortunate, but if you're going to play with a large crowd that, you know, and watching, it, it's going to happen. Yeah, I think he's asking. He's, I think he's been disturbed again, I think. You'd be better off just putting the ball down and walking off. That's the way, Alex. That's the thing to do. Put the ball down, take a drink. Because it, it is important to do that. It really yes. is. Yeah, yeah. He's obviously been disturbed. Quite right. Settle himself down. He knows this is a big ball. He doesn't want to lose this one. He knows he has to go wide, and he's very close again. Oh, he's oh in again. wow. Now, that is something you don't see. I think he's having the word. He's having the word. Yeah, the I think he again. is. <clears throat> he's called the umpire down. I didn't see any movement, actually, when he was just about to play that this ball. No, I didn't either with the second one, certainly. But, you know, it's... Um, and he'll have a chat, so he will. With uh, but the, in the meantime, the end goes on. Yes. Well, Nicky Brett has got about three or four yards here. He'll not be. Um, He's wanting a word with the umpire. But yes, Nicky's definitely going to score with this one. This will be number three. What a turnaround for this on this end. Three shots, Brett and Harley. <laughs> you know, Alex is talking to Nicky Brett about it. I mean, not exactly sure. I mean, I didn't think there was a lot of movement when he played his final delivery. So let's go 4-3 after two ends. Well, the officials will sort it out, I've no doubt. You know I'm better than that. You know I'm better than that. <laughs> you know <laughs> Jacqueline, 27 metres.
So, off we go. 4-3. It's very similar to snooker that way, isn't it, Andy? You know, you get a bit of movement here and there and different things, and it can be a whole variety of things, but it depends how the player... Right. You know, it sort of yeah, works with it if they can get yes. past that yes. or not. Yeah. Well, Alex, as you rightly said, I mean, he took his time and uh, had a drink of water, so he, he did compose himself. Mm. And uh, as I say, when he released the final ball, I didn't really see a movement. Whether it was in his head, I don't know. But yeah, I can't play on people. I think it's more the fact, Andy, that he knows he has to go very yes, wide. Yes, yes. Because he's using a big bias. That's ball. right. That's right, exactly. Yeah. I think that's more to do with it. On the ball, just a no more. Dropped in, Drop. <coughs> Looks like the winner coming in. Yeah, got it back again. Perfect win. One red. Well, Merlin Golf on Twitter. Do you just have a standard ball and bowls, or like golf, you get different makes? Well, we've got four different manufacturers, but within that, we've got all sorts of different makes, or, or sorry, uh, styles and specifications. Might be out there. Uh, very small, double zero all the way through to uh, the normal would be fives, it's but time. they can do special, which are a bit bigger. The last thing, what you do, all different you grips, not, different I'm weights as well. And of course, uh, one pair can use different types of balls even when they're playing together. So, uh, always very careful when I'm describing these things because you have to be very fair to all the, uh, all the different manufacturers that the balls are available from. Very good, I think I'll slightly correct you on the size of David now. Obviously, uh, we are now that one, mate. with a four zero and a triple zero. Oh, you've gone even smaller than yes, that. Yes, yes, the just the draw is still available, or the two bowls will go if you want to go the two bowls. So we could now actually have Either uh, triple zero and four uh, quad zero. So I've had three attempts at the draw and been horrific. So. Oh, well, I'm happy to go two bowls. You Invention, Happy. shall we say? Of, uh, I think that's a good in, a good addition to our sport. I would have handed it over to Andy, seen, because he works for yeah. uh, <laughs> one particular manufacturer. I thought I'd better not. So <laughs> here we go. Stick. How close are you? Oh, oh, good effort. Close. Very, very close. I know you'd be very fair about that because there's actually a lot of cooperation with the manufacturers yes, as well are. within yes. the sport. Yes, there are. Very big supporters of the sport. Yes. Well, I think Alex is line two, and there's room again. It's the run with this one. Don't think he's here. Well, that's where he is finishes as the key. He's not far away oh, here. Yes, here. Yes. Oh, gentle, gentle. Mm. Oh, two. Yeah, still two. Just didn't want the movement on the jack, but. I'd come and have a look, mate. After the last end, that's a tremendous recovery. Yes, yes. His composure is back. Two. This is awkward for Nicky. Two red. I think Paul was basically saying to him, forget it. Yeah. Just get on with it. 
This is awkward. This is not easy. Uh, the attacking shots on, front ball into it, but dangerous. I'm not sure what Greg would have advised here, but whatever it is, it's not easy for Nicky to get the shot here. Uh, ball on the jack's the ideal solution. It's a forehand runner. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if he's high enough. Ah, I think he's going to go. No, he's going to split on that, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's taking his own out. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's a horrible result. Laggy. Well, he's tight of the target and uh, very unlucky as you watch this. The back bottom green one, and he goes. Yes. Oh. That is a shocker. Well, his own ball fell in. I don't know whether it's how many there is here. Asking for the umpire to confirm how many. Probably three. Just shows how much faith there is in Alan Thornhill and the umpires generally, or markers generally. Definitely three. Yeah. Draw this, drop back on the jack. Five. Yes, this could be well. You couldn't put it past him, would you? No, I know I wouldn't. For the last end of dropping the three, they're certainly going to get a three back, possibly four. It'll be a big scoring end to hey. the start of this second set. Well, ah. he's on a good road. Ah. Yep, run a shot, mate. Come on! Oh, this is Very definitely good, scoring. Ah. Yeah. No argument about that one. That's good, uh, good recovery balls. Yeah. All three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Three out. Yeah. That was as much about encouragement for Alex after the yes. last end, wasn't yes. it? Yes. I think it was. Paul forcing that point through. Mid. Yeah, he did. Right back in there again. Yeah, we heard him actually saying, just forget it. Sure, the side ball is definitely in. Yeah, that's definitely in. So that's four. I'm measuring for five. I don't think there's five. No, I think it was just outside it. Yep, four it is. Big scores though. Three yep. fours. Four, three, four. Four shots, Foster and Marshall. I'm not sure that there's just occasional risks with the running ball, isn't it, Andy? That was a set score, 8-4 after yeah, three, that was eight, a key three ball after that three ends. In the context of this set and possibly in the context of the match. Yes, yeah, Nicky was always under with the runner. <laughs> Jack length, 24 metres. Probably, yeah, go on, keep saying. Foster laid the foundation. Yes, Greg has just gone off slightly in this second set. Right down. Right down now. Oh, well done, well done. Really good, really. good adjustment from the front one. 
that extra meter on, got second shot. Paul Foster, forehand to try and turn the jack. He was overly happy with that delivery. Lift your own, draw the shot. What do you, what do you want, mate? What? I'd play the same. Same ball, you get it up once, you're good. Hurry now. Close here. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Good arriving draw, as we call it, Andy. Yes. Something that's arriving at the head with that 18 inches One of weight. Yeah, very good ball. It's a fairly sort of recent terminology, arriving yes. draw, but uh, but it it's perfectly describes that shot. Let it well. Try, mate. Try it. One up. Didn't like that one. Don't think he's here. No, he knew it out of the hand, and that's, yes. that's key, really. And he's yeah. probably just two feet away, yes. but. Yeah. When you know it out of the hand, you don't mind that much because at least you know it's uh, you can make the adjustment. It's when you let them go yeah, and you're a yard away and they end up in the jack. Yes, <laughs> yes. You've yeah. got a problem. Big yeah, chance there. A good sign. Well, a chance here for Nicky to draw Big another. Chance. This looks like number well two. Well well it's tucked in as well. And he's coming down to have a little peep at it. Two green. Not that many options here for Alex, yeah, well, really. I, I think it's just to come up, compose yourself, go down and draw the shot. Just looks to me a forehand draw. Not a lot on, really. No, there's no real hit shot. Ball on the jack would be good, but it'll be, it's, it's almost impossible to play it. It's just a draw. Facial expression indicated possibly heavy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure about it. Paul would yeah. normally be calling it if it was close. Yeah. yeah. Gaining you out of the hand as most of the top players do. Well, if we keep the pattern going, mm. four, three, four, chance for another three here. Gently down, yeah. Rubbish, sorry. I ain't rubbish. It ain't rubbish, Gently it's down. very close. Gently it down. It certainly isn't Fast rubbish. rubbish. Yeah, just keep playing rubbish, you'll be saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not good enough. Oh. Yet. <laughs> Nicky, Nicky, where are you going? <laughs> Three shots, Brett and Harlow. Set score, 8-6 after four ends. 8-6 after four ends. <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep playing rubbish, he says. Yes. <laughs> You'll be happy enough with that. It's funny that because you know Nick let that go and he thought it was right, but we could tell, yeah, even yeah, just watching yeah, it from yeah. here, that it was close. Jack length, twenty nine metres. You it was close. Yeah. As you said, normally the player has got a good idea, and he obviously didn't think it was good. Came back well. Twenty nine, full length. Well, 
Eight six after nine ends in the first set. Who you Eight, got six now? After four ends in the second. And again. And again. Hang on as long as you can. Better to get the ball than the shot. Uh, just dripped on. It's not bad actually dropping underneath like that. Yeah, that's quite good. I mean, holes and, holes and gaps, Andy. Well, I think Alex is asking Paul to, to run out the jack here. Mm, interesting. Basically saying, no, I want this jack into the ditch. It's a forehand runner. I think he's watching this. He's close to the jack clean. He's got it. Oh, wow. Oh, that was close. Oof. Same line as your last. If you got six inches, no. perfect. Once he missed his own ball, he must have been thinking, I've got this. I agree. Once he missed his own ball, I thought he must have it. Right. Anything behind Jack is good. Yeah, I think Greg will be trying to just move the Jack. Make it harder for Paul. Well, it's a deep ball, so this is going to help. Well done. Well done. Deep ball. I'm just happy enough just to go a little bit on the deep side. Whether Paul will go again, I'm not sure, but he was so close. I don't know, he's, he's already showed his hand, as it were. I think he'll probably be playing the same ball. Again, he's in the area. Jack, get it clean, man. Well, that's a whole lot better than the position he was in. Going to be four or five feet away from it in the ditch, as you can see. Ball's a toucher, stays in the ditch. Just got it really a third on the inside. Yes. Instead of absolutely Ooh. solid, but better than two down. Yes. Let's line the shot so down to the skips. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. A very good starter. Very, very good starter. Yeah, we'll see, I don't know how far. That's probably about 15 inches, I would think. Effort, mate. Up top. Paul encouraging this ball up. Well, he knows it's close, he just doesn't want to hide it. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Gives him a shot to play if he requires it. Right road again, Nick. Yeah, wide road for Nick Brett. It's all on the weight now. Can he get past the front stuff? Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Yeah. Yes. Interesting choice mm. of shot there for Alex. Mm. Does he run the balls out or does he draw? It's not a bad option to run the balls out the way they're sitting. I think he's playing the draw. Well, he was so close to the yes, last he one. Was. I can understand why, but he has to go wide. The line's not bad. We haven't heard Paul's voice. I suggest he's probably heavy. It's just over it. Yep. That's what held him on the wide side because he was just carrying that shade. I, I, I'm surprised Nick Brett's going again in the forehand. I thought he might have been tempted with the backhand there, Andy. Yes. Well, he, I think he's right. wide. Oh, that was close to the edge. Gonna kill you, 
Andy Britt enjoying it because he knows he's close. And he's got the three in. Brilliant. That is Brilliant. a fantastic <laughs> three oh. goals from Nick Britt. Great stuff. And the crowd loving it as well. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> that was pretty yeah, good. Oh, he's got about an inch. It just proves that you have to really skirt the edge to get the result, but that's locked it in in a shamrock, and surely Alex will go with these now. Oh, 100%. Well played, Greg. Happy with that. he would be doing well to take two of the green balls out. To get three out, it would have to go really fast. Yeah, I think that's what he's looking at. No. No. I don't think the three will go, man. I really don't. Yeah, I think one is liable to stay yeah. in, I'd agree. The, the front one's the one he wants to hit, will yes. probably stay in. But taking two out would be a very, very good ball. I think he'd be happy taking two out. I mean, I think the other option is quite simply trying to, to draw the shot on the forehand. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's difficult, I know, but um, see, there's still room there. If you want the man to do it, he's the man. Yes. So. Yeah, there we could see the target there in the background. Big swinging ball has to go very wide if he's. Oh, I'm looking to see. Back. Oh, he's been the backhand. He back reckons he can't afford to go too wide, so he's trying to come across the head. I'm not at all surprised at this. But I thought Nick Brett would have played this with his last ball. Now it's all about getting back and stopping. It was quick. Big three. Goodness me. I just can't remember any match of this quality of players. Three shots, Bretton Harlow. scored two fours on one side and three threes on the other side. Set score, eight, eight nine, nine after five ends. 17 shots and five ends. Jack length, 29 metres. I've known cricket teams have struggled to score like this. <laughs> Ease now. Again, a good starter. Time at this game, or this set, sort of settled down to one shots and a couple of ends, Andy. Yeah, she would have thought so by now, but can't keep bouncing about threes and fours. I know it's unusual, especially the quality. You'd expect them all getting second shot and keeping it tight, but makes it entertaining anyway. Ease again, ease to your own. Good again. Ease, ease. Well, good mate, good. Okay. Now. Well, this looks a flatter line. Thank you. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Ah. That's going to hold up. Short for length as well. Well, looking to reach his own ball. If he drifts past the green, it'll still be good. Up yet, mate. Up yet. 
running up a bit further. Yeah. That's probably in. Right. Yes, just I think it held up, didn't fall back. Just a backhand draw here for Nicky. Better. Yeah, yeah. Lovely way to get a pick the jack up. The two green balls at the back were coming into play. Just a fraction. Ball first stunned all the weight out of it. The obvious it's shot here is up. yard through on the backhand, Aye. but it's such a hard shot to play. That's why Paul's given him another choice. But you know, in a normal club game, this looks a, a reasonable shot to play, but it's difficult on the portable. Hence why he's going stronger. Yes. Will he bend? He's very close to the edge of it. His own creates a slight problem. He's got his own, but his own has finished actually on the respot. So. For Andrew, for a touch or. Look, sounds very good to me. Forehand turned the jack for four. Yes. And we'll see as this ball approaches, and the the, the green Bit ball is just it. below, very valuable. But there's only one red ball in there. Yes, that's the danger for Alex playing the attacking ball now. Played Nick. Oh, he his jack and pull it back. Yeah, he has. Absolutely oh. brilliant, oh. Yeah. Nicky. Terrific pull, that really is. Wow. He was in trouble before he went to the mark. Now he's on four. Brilliant. Four green. That's a fantastic oh, ball. We, we, we could see what was going to happen, yes, Andy. Yes, yeah. That was a great ball. You know, any touch of the jag was going to make four. And, um, and But not only that, there's nothing easy to no, get out of it. No, this is awkward for Alex. He's really turned his head around as, as Nicky. Marshall, two balls without out of trouble. Might have a run at this one. Well, even then, it's not ideal. No, it's not. No, it's hard target. Backhand run up. No, it looks as if he pulled that one. Has to be fortunate. It doesn't really matter if he takes that one away because no, it does. No. he's still the four against him, but back position. Well, Alex has got one ball off to one side, but... Uh, yes and no, it's the same as balls and nothing. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, I want the best back. Yeah, yeah, One short green one, so... Best back isn't a bad option. I'd agree. It's hard enough to see the jack going back there, but I think it's worth playing. Go for, go for about there, mate, I think. Very good asking for cover. So they're going to pick the right shots, aren't they? There's so much experience. Yes, out yes. There. Yeah. It really is. Like these guys have been around a very Hold long up. time. And the classic players as well. You know, you, you don't get the uh, squash buckling play of something like uh, somebody like a Jason Greenslade. <laughs> you don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, we know the shot. Alex reverting to the draw. He has to. I don't think there's any real shot on for him. There'll be some shot here if he draws this. Well, he's interested. Oh, so is Paul. Oh, Alex, you're not going to draw the shot. He needs to hurry to save two. That's not bad if he gets it. He has. He's got third shot. That's a very good goal. That keeps him in the set. Two shots. Bretton Harlow. Yes, agree. Good goal. Very good goal. Set score 8-11 after six ends. I think he had to try and play that just to try and cut down. Yes. I don't think he was getting a good result with the runner. The 
intriguing game. Jack length, 28 metres. Five singles scored in the nine ends in the first set, and now we've got a situation where there hasn't been one single played or gained in this second set after six ends. Twos, threes, and fours. Now. He's in. He's in. Well good played. Start. Another good start. Yes. Kept his game up really good in this second set. Started it off poor, but he's really coming strong. Yes, it's really since that time that Nicky hit the jack when yeah. he's in trouble, put yes. it on the respot. Alex yeah. lost two balls. Yes, holes. yes. They picked up a three, brought them right back Come into on. it. There's always key moments in a match. Again, and again. Well done, well done. Two feet. Just sneaked in. Hang around. Hang around now. Yep. Interested in this one? Yeah, good. Hang year. around. Very Hang good. Hang around. Great job. Great job. Alex and Paul here might be forced into a running ball again. Yeah, I think that's the key to it. Get rid of this front stuff. I'd agree. Yeah. Don't be wide. Chance of taking his own back one out if he's too wide. That's where the danger is. It's close. Back up. Oh. Right. Mm. Right. It's always where the danger high. was on the alone. Yes. On the, as you say, on the high side, it would have been slightly better being tight and taking the two yeah. blockers, as it looks like, there and out of the way. You can't deliberately play tight, though. You no. have to go for the line that you think is right. And yes. If it holds, well, you know, it's just one of those things. But... Where he's pushed the jack or his own ball to is right over the respot. Right, right. And that's very handy. Decisions for Nick whether he decides to go deep or just try and draw in behind. I think he's going for the respot here. Yeah, going deep. We're seeing the respot just where the other red ball has managed to finish. There it is. He needs to catch it. And, uh, <coughs> well done. Still respot the red. The, the hard part is actually trying to get the jack here. It's not easy. It's not a tighter line than Paul's. Yep. I think Alex was conscious of yes. not being wide. Yes. Well, he's moved these, shall we say, blockers well, out of the way, so he's got a clearer or path to the jack. Out, out, just hold. I'll give you three options, I might get one of them. <laughs> Good sense of humour, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Give me three options, I'll get one. Yeah, well, I fancy he'll get all three. <laughs> <laughs> if you give him three, just he'll make up his mind what the higher percentage is. Otherwise, I'm going to have about two yards to take off. Well, I think I'll be trying to draw the shot here. I mean, it finishes on the centre line, I think that's key. Finishes on the centre line, he'll be happy. Seventh end, nine end set. Paul Foster, Alex that, Marshall that must score ideal, this man. end. Greg's asking for two feet behind the head. Yeah. 
Yes, the only thing you don't want is to come in jack high. Well, he's certainly not two feet behind. How hope this is all right. Is he going to make this? Made that by accident. Yeah, that's perfect. That is exactly where I would have played it. wanted it. Yeah. Right. In the centre line. But he's still lots of three feet short of what yes. he was trying. Yes, yes, I think <laughs> so it was. It's, uh, he just made sure he was on the good line and it's turned out to be a perfect ball. Alex looking to kill this in. Needs to pass the short one. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's the value yes, of that ball, yes, isn't it? Yes, exactly. That's yeah. what I said. Centre line. Might Four be again. similar again, I think. Yeah. Well, try again for two feet. Right? Yes, yes. And <laughs> <laughs> stop in the front of it. Needs another ball in. Two green can disappear. Not quite sure. His big shoulders Certainly are up. Reaching with this one. Okay. Doesn't Sorry. beat the red one. Okay. Same shot again? Yes, exactly. Exactly. He was close the last time. I think he's got to he's got to kill it here. I mean, danger taking his own ball out. I think it's just a case of if he does, too bad. See the target. He's thrown it on the high side. Take his own one out, possibly. Two shots, Bretton Harlow. A big run of scoring. And we're able to score. Set score, 8 13 after 7 in. 3 3 2 2. 10 shots on the bounce. That's massive. I did predict a, a tie break, you remember, about two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to give me credit when, for that? When you were sitting on that very strong <laughs> metal fence that you Jack sit on. 29 metres. That That's when you're, you're talking about, Andy? I think yeah, so, yeah. I thought okay. you'd give me credit for uh, predicting a tie break, although we're not quite there yet. <laughs> no, two hands to go. Scottish pair have to score five shots. In a game like this, that's very possible. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm saying I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. Nicely back. Nicely. Decent. So as we approach two hours. few seconds short of the two-hour mark, as we expected in a final, two quality pairs. Yes. There's been a lot of discussion, and um, it's been very relevant discussion to it. Hasn't been in any way, you know, trying to slow the game down, which is great to see that it's been they've been very important shots. Yeah, they've not been wasting time getting on with the game. Hurry now. Hurry to finish it off. Hurry a touch more. Touch more. Yes, the nearest. You mate, you can, or you just nudge your own. You're eight inches. That's all. Probably look. You fancy it, mate? Probably look. On you go. Have you given Greg the choice? Yeah. Forehand. Yes, I think it's often. I think it'll be a forehand draw. Just trying to keep this end tight. Really, one down is not a disaster for Greg and Nicky here. No, I think it's settled for one. Either way. Not there, Struggling to right. get there. 
Ah. Oh dear. That's what you don't want, because when you've got Nicky Brett coming behind you, you want to be able to have a clear road yes, for Nicky. Yes. He's yeah. so good at the running shots. I thought Greg would have just kept on his backhand, really. Didn't really need to change. Paul struggling for pace as well with this one. Yep, he's not getting there. That's a strange one as well. There's been some discussion, Andy, about the three ball pairs, whether, you know, what, it, what it's done to the game. I think it's enhanced the quality of the play quite often. Yes. Um, some of the players are saying they like the purity of the two balls. I think at the speed of this green, I mean, and it is quite fast, I think it's probably a better, you'll get better heads with the three balls. You certainly get more shot play. Yes, yes, you do. There's a lot more tactics in four mate. three balls. Yes. And four balls is just far too many. You can play in normal situations and four balls are just too many heads around, but too many balls around the head. Three balls are a good compromise. This is a, a loose-ish end for these boys. Yep. Okay. It's the second shot coming oh. in. Trying his best to get up onto the seam. There's another drop. I think he's going to drop. Oh, he's just dropped. <laughs> Try, Nick. Good try, mate. Great try. Hold your bike. Hold your bike. Yep, made the correction. Yes, yeah, number oh. two. I That's think. A really five. good spot. Good, big hook at the end. still a draw. Yeah, still a draw. I mean, again, second shot, good enough for Nicky here. Doesn't want to be dropping two or three. Good ride. Well, certainly more interest in this one. What about the weight? Oh dear. Is it the second though? He's falling back. Where's that gone? Where's that gone along the scene? On the scene. <laughs> Where's it gone, he says. Yeah, Where did that finish under there? Yeah. <laughs> Carpet stitched, of course, along the seams, and they do roll them and make sure they're very flat. Sometimes you even get a cold iron out and do it. Yeah, we could see the seam there on the screen. It uh, can affect the run of a ball. Quite an important ball for Alex here. You almost feel as a three makes the two achievable. To score a three will be harder, I think. Yeah, it's almost like he has to make it. Yes. It's not that as dangerous though. Paul's looking at this. Oh. Just needs to get over the seam and he makes it. If he gets over the seam, he's there. And the seam says, well, good be. Yes. Three, yeah. Get him a chance. No, there's the clap, so he made, he's made it. Three shots, Foster and Marshall. <laughs> he said, with five shots being enough, <laughs> tie breaks, Andy. <laughs> Set score 11 13 after 8 10. What, a, what an end of balls. 24 shots. And the scoreboard, unbelievable with the quality that's out yeah. there. Well, two's always achievable. Jack length 25 and a half metres.
Okay. Two and a half inches. Better round there. Yes. Yeah, better through than short. Make sure if Paul liked that one. I think it's more the width than anything. And the width's good, but look at the way it's coming back. Yeah, it's coming it's back at the death. Yeah, that's more than decent, that. Okay. Craig just needs to take a yard off. Oh, you've got. Oh, you've got. Mickey asking him to run. run. He's not bad. Run! He's not bad Get here. Up. Well done. Well That's done. a good goal. Very good goal. Just. Just held a run. Yes, it did. It did. It did. Uh, by four yards of really, all the ball almost continued straight. Oh, it's one of the jacks. Just got to come down nearly clear with the right way. Four feet. Uh, well, you just want to try and lift your over on the other side. That's not enough. Just something else in the area. Fuck it. Have you played that? Just try and rock that over, and you drop to here. Alex is asking Paul just to play with a yard away. I, I think it's the right shot because he knows that if he misses it, he comes into a really good spot. Yes. Yes. If he's got enough, he doesn't have to wait for it. So often happens in that forehand. Yes, yes, yes. Just drive short. Away. Yep. Dives away, doesn't it? Seems to die away quicker on that hand than it does at any other three. I'd agree. No, why? Oh, Greg, just needs another ball in the head. And that looks narrow to me. Yeah, it looks narrow to and me as well. Again. Kick out, Run. go straight. Run a bit more. Oh, that's not bad where it's finished. I know it's short, but he has a deep ball oh, as well. Great second. Might force Alex into playing that backhand shot. Well, the danger of that top green ball is that if Alex removes the green ball, the shot ball, and Nicky's forehand runner becomes difficult. So that last ball of Greg might be important. Forehand, so he's trying to run the ball out. It's a hard shot because he'll be playing it with very controlled weight. Yes. Yeah, he's taking a chance controlled. here. He's trying to just to clip the ball. No reaction from Paul. Yeah, well, it's actually cleared the road. Oh, yeah. He had to waste one almost to get rid of that short ball. Yep. Okay. Nicky still needs another ball in there. Play, Nick. Oh, play. Oh, play. There's another ball. Yes, if one green goes out, there's still only the one shot in it, so it's, a, it's a, another ball in the head. Ball. It's all that counts. Okay, all right. going out to Better Nicky. Ball. Happy with that. Right. <laughs> it's a tense finish to this set. degree of difficulty here is high. Just to play with a good weight for the ball then to stay in. This is hard, hard shot. Is that straightener? I think that's a big yes. key in this. Just what effect that has on the ball. This, this is so hard. No reaction from Paul. See, it just drifts, just yep. drifts. 
for a long period there, that ball didn't mm. do anything. Yeah, yeah. see that, he's saying that the, the ball's it, holding yeah. out, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Very, very similar to last. Play here for Alex. Very, very similar. I think he's shaking his head as if to say, this rink is not going to be allowing me to play the shot that I want to play. I was saying earlier, you can't play the obvious sometimes. I know, I know. Just can't. <laughs> Looking for a foot behind the jack. Oh, he's coming into it though. Lightning. Mm. No, I don't think it really makes any difference. I think I don't. basically he's got to plant the red well, ball onto the jack well. and move it 18 inches here. He needs to roll it over once and that will be enough oh. to bring the jack back to the other red one oh. and score a double, which is what he needs. Putting his foot down where he yep. wants to jar. Absolutely. This is hard. No. Not easy, yeah, but it's a possible opportunity. Nice, yes. The chances yeah. of doing that is still giving the same job. Plays in the forehand because there's a chance of getting the outside green one onto the jack as well. I think I'd agree with you there. Always putting it on the back kind of well. I think I would play with you. I'll go with you, David. I think the forehand looked better. Two options on the forehand, the backhand. Uh, so that straightener, will it hold? Well, he's on a tighter line. He's closer this time. Will he bend? Here it comes. Oh, yes! Yes! Yeah, he's oh, got it. What, what a ball. What a oh. ball. Oh, my. Oh, that was unbelievable. What a shot. He dropped all the weight, and he and oh. just had enough to get the ball out clean. But there's no reaction from Paul, because Paul thought he's not going to get this. Too Oh. Well, you talk about calling balls, as you say, Fozzie oh. didn't say anything until he was sure. What a ball. Well, forehand straight for Nicky. Match light. He may have pulled that. He flicked it a bit, but he's oh, in the no, area. Oh, he's Ooh. missed it. Oh, it's all over. Second set tied in the match. Foster and Marshall. Oh. What a finish to the match. And once again, Alex Marshall is the man for the big ball. Set lie against him. And the two best friends hug each other for another world title. Oh, Number God. four in the pairs. Oh, great. That's some ball. Thanks, Alex. Diane. Well done. Well done. Well done. An absolutely amazing finish to that. It just looked right up to, to the last ball like we were going to get a tie break. And then all of a sudden, Alex Marshall and Paul Foster score three in the eighth and a two in the ninth. And level the scores, half set each, and they win by virtue of winning the first set.